Hello, this is Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution on PS2. I was just doing arcade mode briefly to test some sound settings, and I got crushed by... Was it Wolf on that? Uh, no, it was Leife on, on uh, Artist Difficulty. Anyway, that was as Sarah. I'm not playing as Sarah. I am playing quest mode as Vanessa Lewis. I don't remember what costume I was using. They're pretty much just palette swaps. So I... This is my second Vanessa episode. And the first one I... Got through the first arcade, so now we're on to Club Sega Bay Area. And, um. We got a. I don't remember how many stars we're in. I guess I think it's a little, little more. a little bigger population here. And a little tougher, still not too tough. Um. Okay, I don't like doing evasions. I don't like doing evasions. I guess I'll look for two owies to beat. Uh, yes. Um, I want to look at my... Let's see. This is on standard difficulty. Because I got this red color. Yes, but his 1P, 1P I think is the red, so you toggle it with the L1, R1 buttons, but it doesn't tell you, it just shows you this abstract color, and you're like, uh, okay, is red 1P or is it 2P? I don't know, but I think, I think I noted last time that it was 1P. Um, well, let's just go fight some people. So I don't know what I'm doing with Vanessa, I haven't done her command training, I'm... I, uh, my habit has been to avoid doing command training as long as possible. And I guess that's just because I have so much fun just figuring, exploring moves. So wait a second. Oh, I'm, that's, that's, yeah, that's guardless. Wait, what? Yeah, hang on. That's guardless kick is doing it. I thought it was... Oh, right, the mode. I don't know. I'm hitting all kinds of stupid buttons. I have a I have a guard plus punch button set for throws and a guard plus kick button set for sweeps, and I have no guard button on its own set because I was bothering my shoulder by leaning on the guard button all the time. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons right now. I always do this when I start. Um... Okay. Yeah, I don't want to be... So I have to hit a combination plus another button to switch because you have to hit all three buttons, essentially, to switch... Her, uh, her styles. She has two styles. So she's kind of got more moves than any other character because she's essentially got two martial arts. One is a... Defensive style of, um, what is it? Uh, the, the Brazilian MMA style, and one is the offensive style. So you start off every, every single round in defensive style, which sucks because I want to be in offensive style, so I have to remember to switch every time. And that usually means you have to take a back dash or else you'll get hit. The opponent can hit you while you're taking a moment to switch styles. So that's obnoxious. I think in 5 they... See, I'm back to defensive style. I think in 5 they finally remembered... Or did they? Maybe they didn't. Yeah, 
in offensive style, she's got these much faster punch combos, but I don't know them very well, so I'm just flailing around. Fight three. Ready? Go! Oh yeah, that's um, Slingy Mash Punch. That that move is a uh, forward forward punch kick, and it seems to be super effective against these low ranked AIs. I uh, I think possibly it's unblockable, but I'm not really sure about that. I know that the AI Sarah's Sarah's. <laughs> the AI Vanessa's always nail me with it. You're not a worthy opponent. Nice Fight one. Caller. Ready? Go. I'm in the wrong mode. Now oh, I already switched twice. I, uh, please just switch to the there we go. I think I'm in offensive style. They made the they made the friggin' poses too identical between the styles in, in this version. Back when she had actual two completely different martial arts styles in four vanilla, it was much easier to tell from her stance what style she was in because it was Muay Thai and the Brazilian martial art was mainly completely blanking on the dope. <laughs> There's a lot of mashing. So this is actually an orb match because I've got a white orb, she's got an orange orb. That means we can both win an orb from our opponent. Should have done the takedown. Well, I mashed it out. Vanessa's a pretty good grappler. Oh yeah, she's got yellow eyes. I bought temporary yellow eyes. It'll last for 50 fights. I don't remember how many I've been in already, of course. Um, but since I do not have a guard button set, it's sort of difficult for me to get them, the AIs, into a throwing position. So I don't get that many throws in. I did get a crouch throw last episode, which I was quite happy with. Oh man, that's a sweet punch. I think that might be forward forward punch. Fight two. Ready? Go! Ah, I missed the style switch. Let, let go. Oh. I can start the round. This is going to haunt me for as long as I play Vanessa, I think. So I got that orb from... Oh, I was trying to throw him. Son of a gun. From my last opponent. Ready? Go! Shoot. There actually is... There are these opportunities I'm noticing with Vanessa to because she does kind of get naturally into a throw position. But uh, it's going to take some getting used to that happening. And then realizing that I can throw from there. The, uh, she can throw crouching characters, which only a few of the grappler types can actually do. But to do that, you have to hit all three buttons and, like... Down forward or down potentially. It's uh, they changed it in. Did I just switch modes twice? It's in final showdown, I think, or maybe it was in five, to make it so that you only had to hit the regular two buttons to throw crouching characters, and you just had to hit it down direction. Um. It's actually more precise in this old method where you do have to hit all three buttons specifically to do a down throw, but it's also just harder for me to get to remember to hit the buttons, the different button type. I still feel pretty clunky. 
I get her rhythms down. It's kind of weird. It, very fast rhythm, but then, uh, I don't know. She'll just sort of hold up if you aren't doing the right thing. Now he is also very fast. Is it the French comic artist known as Mobius? Oh, he had an E in his handle. Now that's something the a AI Vanessa's would do to me a lot, is just get me in this hitting rhythm where I could do nothing except just get hit more. So that's kind of what I would like to do to the AI, of course. Oh, I screwed up. I could have at least got a down attack. Yeah, because I can't block, I have to either play hit and run or just get in and keep the AI off balance so they can't hit me. Fight one. Ready? Go. Okay, that's not how you do it. Tried to save you, buddy. Fight two. That's not actually true. Ready? I did try to grab Go. him. Ah, oh, see, that's defensive mode. It does have that longer range down forward Three. kick. Uh. See, now, I, I thought too late that I wanted to do a, a ground throw or a, a crouch throw. But then I was already doing that input, forward, forward, punch, kick, and just uh, just took him down. I wasn't actually sure that would get him while he was crouching, but it sure did. At least it looked like it did. I suppose technically he could have been in a standing motion right at the end. You never know. I love that forward, forward, punch. Ah. I think she probably can get crouchers with that. Jeez. Now, what I'm paranoidedly, that's not worth thinking, is that once I get to a certain point through the uh, virtual arcades, the AI will, will get good enough that they'll start avoiding that takedown. So I don't want to rely, kind of rely on it too much, because that's basically happened to me. When I played Jackie and then Sarah, I would find a move that I really liked, and then later it just would get me killed. Certainly the, the most obvious thing to do, or the most obvious thing to try to do, would just be to get her various punch and kick combos down so you can just knock the snot out of anybody. Yeah, nice baseball kick. It's eaten. All right into it. See now there, you would have thought he had plenty of time to like punch me in the face or something. Oh, hmm. well he hit me as I came down. I'm not sure if he blocked it first or he was just hitting me first. See, I probably shouldn't execute it at close range. I was just seeing if I could get away with it. And the answer was kind of no. But he didn't get me the first time. It took him a couple times, so maybe with the element of surprise, you can get away with it. See, now there I caught him as he was just whiffing punches at me for no good reason. Ah, do a crouch throw, you bonehead. There we go, that's a crouch throw. I did down forward, and then I hit my punch plus kick button and my kick button together, so that triggered all three buttons because, or my, my guard plus punch button, which 
wanna fight again? is throw normally. So that got all three buttons, and I was hitting down forward, So and he was crouching, so it did a, a crouch throw on him. So if I can get, like, one of those an episode, I'll feel like I'm pretty awesome. Which is not correct. But. So there I stayed in defensive, and I did down forward kick, because our defensive mode down forward kick is just a really good, solid hit. I, I may end up liking defensive mode more. I still don't know. It's got kind of a an easier rhythm to it. It's not this very quick one-two thing that offensive mode is. But it does not have all the combos. Or maybe it, you could say it doesn't have as many combos. Maybe it does. I have no idea. It doesn't have the, the obvious quick combos that it, uh, offensive mode has. Oh gosh, I'm third Q. That seems pretty good for just episode two. Nice do rag, man. Ready? Go! See, I do kind of like the the longer range hits of actually. I, what am I saying? I, I really like the longer range of defensive mode. See, I was thinking defensive mode was made so you could kind of strike from it while staying staying back, but maybe it's more. Ready? that you can strike at longer range so you don't necessarily have to commit as much as your strike just goes farther. I don't know. Oh, I missed a down attack again. So that was all defensive. Definitely a... Uh, a more comfortable rhythm for uh, just, just sort of laid back slugging. Fight one. Ready? Go. Now I'm in offensive. I don't like her down forward kick in offensive. It's this two hit thing and it kind of throws me. No pun intended. But she can definitely just chew through people if she Ready? does start getting go. hits in. And, she, and when you then go back to defensive mode, she definitely feels pretty slow in defensive mode, but she can do like that, forward, forward. I don't like her forward, forward kick in offensive mode. It's just a quick knee, which does not have good range, whereas in offensive mode, you've got that huge roundhouse kick that just floors him. Ah. Sort of stepping backwards, kick or push back, bus kick. You all talk. You can't win with that technique. Funny little brow animation there. Yeah, it's funny because there isn't that much facial animation in general. But fight one. Ready? Go. Okay, so Owie is really fast. If I stay in defensive mode, she will clearly have the speed advantage on me. But I have the range advantage. Fight two. Ready? Go! See that down forward kick is pretty good. It's better than Sarah or Jackie's, I would say. Not quite sure how it compares speed wise, but really good range. Wanna fight again? I would say I I personally am a little more in tune oh, okay. With um oh I beat two owies. With uh with the rhythm of defensive mode because I am a slower individual. 
Yes, I got an orange. I guess I can possibly do that. I don't know off the top of my head what attacks I have that stagger, but there's got to be something in there that'll do it. Uh, so I think unlocking the tournament in this arcade, it requires, to, to get it unlocked, you have to defeat 50% of the opponents. I, I go for 90, generally, just to have something to do. I don't want to see all the AIs, you know? Hey. And it's not really usually too hard to get 90% of them to show up. Um, once in a while, some of them are pulled out a bit. That's really fun. Now, that's the kind of attack that the higher level AIs will just block, but it might have some pushback on block. It sure looks like it could. It's got some. I'm not sure if it would be enough to keep them from counterattacking me if they blocked. It sure makes a nice, oh, a nice noise. Get out of my ring. My square ring. Oh jeez, that was another rank match. Oh, okay, so I did stagger. Take on the locals. Throw my opponent eight times? Do I have to do it? Okay, not all in one match. Um, I don't do that many throws. That's... I don't know if I'll finish this one. You can potentially get unique rewards for completing the little quests in each arcade, so you know, it's cool if you can get those. If you can, you know, it's cool then to be able to complete all these little quests, but there are things I just don't want to do, like doing evades. So I'm just not going to. There are other quests that are really annoying, like defeat 15 opponents in a row or something. And just avoid those. No, they're too stressful. So I, I, another reason why I like defensive mode, of course, is because I don't have to worry about switching at the beginning of each friggin' round. So maybe I'll just pretend defensive mode is all I have. <laughs> because I hate that. I hate that mode switching. Not only is it slightly fiddly input Wanna fight again? but it's also just very hard to see visually when you have triggered it especially if the opponent is coming in at you or something just because the, her stances between the two styles are not different enough Come on, they were rumble. they fight were one. in four Ready? when she had Go. Muay Thai and the other one in this game I keep forgetting and they gave Muay Thai to Brad in this one. See, that's... How, did I switch? I switched... Uh, well, I'm in offensive mode. I, I think I just did it by habit, not accidental exactly. Just... Oh my gosh. That was Jackie just laying out the hits on me. See? Well... I don't know if that was a range thing so much as... Just... He got the hits. That was cool. Ah, just how that first kick of hers knocked him up in the air a little. Oh man. Oh, this is looking bleak. Oh, sweet. Uh oh. Time's running out. Ah, uh, come on. Time's up. Ah, God, I couldn't get the friggin' hit. One more time. Whoa, I like that. Um, we should have tried to throw him, but throwing is always I'm gonna whip you in no time. it's always iffy, Fight one. unless it's a Ready? guaranteed throw situation, Go. and I don't think I had one there. This Jackie is really wailing on me. It's 
Right, come on. He is third down, so it's probably a much higher opponent than I've fought so far. Yeah, this is trouble. Fight two. Ready? Mm. Go. Yeah. Jeez, jeez, lay it on me, bro. Oh, shoot. Wait, is it? I think she's still got the takedown. Oh, maybe not. Shoot. I was trying to do her takedown, and it was not coming out. Fight one. Ready? Go! No, she doesn't have the takedown. Well, that sucks. Because the takedown is the winning move. That is the win button so far. Hey. Guess what? Time to smash your face in. Yeah, you can't run. Oh, she didn't kill him. Kill! Oh. I was trying to do it, see if I could sneak in a down attack, but that didn't happen. You typically can't get a down attack in after a throw. Uh oh, I'm in the wrong. I'm in defensive mode. Uh, it's too fast, or it's too slow for one thing, and it doesn't have that. Which this guy does not know how to stop. Oh, I guess he does. Oh, sweet. Oh, shoot. So he beat it by crouching? Ah. Wow, he not. I mean, he pulled ahead, but then he just went ahead and kicked over. Ready, go. Yeah. It's really good. Hmm. So maybe it doesn't hit crouching opponents. Time. Fight one. Ready? Go. Uh. Mm. I don't like that four four kick me. Ah, uh, yeah, it's slow. So he just hit me. Too little too late, I think. Ah, that knee sucks. Time's up. Fight two. Ready? Go. Ha! So that's forward punch punch kick. That's a same combo I use a lot with Jackie. But it's not safe. It's not safe like Jackie's is. Her kick doesn't doesn't get any pushback. Well, I didn't beat him. Um. So that's too bad. I mean, too bad that she doesn't have a safe combo like Jackie does. Forward punch punch kick. Also, that the takedown move apparently is not there for defensive mode. I don't know what mode I was in. I, I think I was in offensive mode, but she just kept Ready? belting me. Go! feeling that maybe she doesn't have any safe moves really in, in, in offensive mode. She's probably got more combos. That was cool. So that Jackie was just uh, just way too fast for me. Of course, in in 
defensive mode. Of course, that sort of just means that I don't know how to utilize the strikes I do have in that mode. And obviously, I should not be just trying to beat him on speed. I switched to offensive, didn't I? See, that has pushback, but if he blocks it, it doesn't. Of course, we knock him down. But stuff like that forward forward punch is the kind of attack they will definitely stop letting you hit them with later on. Ow. That back kick is so funny. See, this is defense. Uh. Fight three. Ready? Go. Hey. Okay. Oh, well, that was supposed to be a crouch throw. What the? So I kept mashing throw. I don't know. Such a moron. One more time. Um. Fight one. Yeah, I thought Ready? I had a crowd show there. Go. I. Jeez, man. Brads are really causing me trouble lately. Golly. Oh boy, the Captain Kirk. I don't know what to do with those brands. Ready? Go! Like I had a brat I fought the other day as Jackie who I, I don't know how I beat him. I shouldn't have. He, he kind of just collapsed in the last match. Aw, oh, come on. You see that little duck he did as soon as I try to throw? That's what the AI does. It can read your input immediately and just knock it in. Hmm, just kind of punch, kick, kick. Or punch, kick, kick. Kind of the opposite of her offensive mode, which is forward punch, punch, kick. Uh oh, I was thinking too much. Ah. She also doesn't have... No, okay, so the flying spin kick is on guard plus kick, which is, fight again? is confusing me. Maybe it's punch plus kick in offensive, or they just changed it in Evo, I don't know. Seesaw game is uh, one of these special events over in open square where it doesn't count in the underground fighting arena where it doesn't count wins and losses against your permanent statistics and these things have different rules um, and some of them are pretty fun some of them are pretty dull uh, seesaw one is where the health bar goes back and forth because well, how does that work when when you get hit, you lose health, of course, but that health then goes to your opponent. So basically, the, it's kind of like a single health bar that just goes back and forth. That's why it's called seesaw. Kind of weird, kind of frustrating, because you can because you can have the opponent on the brink of defeat, and then they start hitting you, and they just turn it all around, and they get all the health back, and you lose the health. So I actually don't really like that one, but it at least is different, whereas some of them are just way too normal. Uh, some of them are really fun, though, and the, the one problem with that mode is that you don't fight the toughest AIs there. They're pretty tough. I mean, certainly tougher than I could beat now, but not as tough as the ones you would find in the final virtual arcade. 
So if you're good enough to fight in the final virtual arcade, you'll find those events to be a little too easy. Um, see, so yeah, my completion rating is up to 40%. I don't think I'm going to get to 90% tonight. Well, I'm definitely not going to get to 90% tonight. Uh, okay, what was I doing here? Ah, oh, see, I hate these, but I don't, I mean, I'm not going to do these. I hate all of these. Well, I'm just going to leave it on that and forget about it, I hope. But see, now, like, I don't really want to fight ten matches. I, I want to fight, like, maybe five matches. So whatever. Fight one! Oh, no. Ready? Go! <laughs> Well, Fat Tuesday is here to kick my butt. Oh, see, I could have thrown him from there, I think. I know I've seen the AI throw me from a pose that looked like that. Come on, down for kick in defensive mode rules. I'm sad. It's not a counter attack, back punch, kick has her just kind of put her dukes up. I don't know what to do. Oh, come on. Ah. Gets out of my throw, blocks my follow up. Well, jab, jab, jab. Low jab. That is the way to win in Virtua Fighter, if you were wondering. It sucks. Fight one. Ready? Everybody's Go. just got the low jab. Oh, I guess I can keep doing that. I don't know what I'm doing. Pushback. I keep trying to do forward, forward, punch, kick, and it's not. Ready? Go. It's not the takedown. Ooh. So that flying kick, if they don't crouch under it, they get pushed way back even if they block it. Ah, oh, gosh. Wow, once he gets that stagger on me. Fight three. Ready? Go. That's pretty much all she wrote. with that technique. <laughs> it's too slow. Ready? Go! So it's going to be a problem against Pi, for instance. Well, it's good for hitting her. Down forward kick is good for hitting her in her low stance, which has been a huge problem. But if she just stays there and jabs me... If that's unblockable or not, I know I would always get hit by it, but I think that's just because I never anticipated it correctly. I would see the AI doing it and I would just be like, oh, I would just not think about it. Not think, oh, maybe I should try not to get hit by this long range attack they're about to launch at me. 
Oh my gosh. Ready? Go! Third string grad's gonna finish me off, probably. Unless he just hits me down court kicking repeatedly. Ready? Go! Okay. Back back guard kick. That does feel like the kind of attack that will stop working when the AI gets a little smarter. Fight one. Ready? Go. Ah. See if I can just do crouch throws. Exactly. Jeez. Just a variety of kicks. Ready? Go. Whoops. The forward forward punch punch in defensive mode isn't bad. Doesn't look like it really ends up being saved. If that's all you got, then Maybe her forward-forward forward punch in offensive is a little safe. So I think it does have a lot of pushback. Fight one! No. Ready? Go! Uh, oh! I mean, after you've been doing defensive mode for a while, offensive just feels miraculously fast. Gosh dang it. So she did that from really close up. Oh, I think I hit both buttons together. No. Well, no, I was hitting the wrong button there, wasn't I? Yeah, I tried to switch modes. I did switch modes, gosh dang it. Did I hit both buttons? Yeah, maybe. If I hit kick, nothing? No, nothing. That was guard plus punch. Oh, what? What happened to that throw? Wanna fight again? I don't know. She's she does feel very slow and off and defensive. I I mean obviously to be a good Vanessa you would Fight have to one. be able to Ready? Go. switch smoothly and effectively. Ah, see this ninja is fast, so I might need to be in offensive mode. Oh no, he, so yeah, he just crouches. Let's nice try, buddy. Fight two. Ready? Go. Ah. I keep hitting that button instead of just punch. Good punch. I think Punch gets a little more damage. Almost KO'd him. Gosh. So once you get... The next rank is First Dan, and once you get to First Dan, you can be demoted. So I got to 50% completion, which unlocked the tournament. I don't want to do the tournament yet. 51.4%. Oh, see, I accepted its thing to quit, and so that broke whatever winning streak I was on, which breaks my attempting to do that quest. It's so stupid. Uh, I'm just going to fight some more. Just a little more.
Well, I mean, I mean, I want to get to 90% opponents, but I mean, for tonight, I'm not going to get to 90% tonight or anything. You're not a worthy opponent. Fight one. It's true. Ready? Go. Except you're only eight. Damn. Uh, let's see, I wanted to switch to offensive. I think I screwed it up. I did. Defensive. Dang it. I, I didn't get to live. Stupid mode switching. Go. So like, you know, well, she does have it on guard. Guard. Kick. Ah. She tender it. You're all one more time. Yeah, it feels like she doesn't have a whole lot of safe attacks in offensive Go. mode. Which is not surprising. There aren't very many safe attacks, attacks in general. Sarah, for instance, had almost... She had like one safe attack. But you can stay safe if you can just keep hitting him. Essentially. Go. Oh, so she still got back, 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 guard, kick. Whoops, oh. I thought I was Fight three. In the lead. Ready? Health Go. Hey. says, knowing that they cannot re-challenge. Bring it on! Fight one! Ready? So sixth Q, Go. okay. Should be a little easier than that last yeah. one I hit the wrong guard. See, that is extremely unsafe. She ends up kind of just half crouched in front of them. They can do whatever they want. Fight two. Ready? Go. Uh, see, I tried not back bashing to switch modes, and that was not okay. You're all talk. I really don't like these uh, two rounds to win matches. It's too, it's too short to make any kind of adjustment, uh, usually. For me, anyhow. Ready? Go! Oh, I got it. Down attack after a throw? Ready? Go! Why did I do that on a crouching opponent? No. I thought to do a crouching throw, and then I, I did not do one. There's one. 
see the AI has this habit of sitting there crouching in front of you. And if they're doing that while I'm on the ground, I have plenty of time, even from my slow again? brain, to realize that all I have to do is down forward all three buttons when I get up to throw them. Squishy dog fight! One! Ready? Go! <laughs> There's another one. I just thought he might crouch there because the AI likes to crouch. So you, oh, see, but that's the thing is that if they see your. If they don't want to get thrown, they won't get thrown. Wow, I was screwing up my own throw attempt there somehow. I don't like that camera switch because it makes it a little distracting to try to do it. Ready? Go! Uh, ground to it on them. There's probably some more damaging throw I could be doing. Good looking hip throw though. Ooh. Good range. If that's all you got then, get out of my sight. I guess I already did that ten throw quest, uh, didn't I? Fight one. Ready? Go. Hey. What? Very short. Max kick. She has a different one. Maybe it's just in offensive mode. Oh, come on. Oh, that was really weird. That was really strange. I guess that was a throw from behind. Get out of the way. Oh, wow. That. The hitbox on that movie of his is. Really hard to beat. Oh, great. Crouch throw would have done it. Oh, I don't think it would have done enough damage. But it looked a little better than my doing nothing useful. Okay, now I'm just taking stupid buttons. That really came kind of close. Fight one. Ready? Go. That's ah, too fast. pushback on it. Oh, not if you don't connect. Oh, he just got blasted, but... Fight two! Ready? Go! Start a 
started to feel a little sorry for him there. Whoops. Well, now I can get demoted. Back to first Q. And now it gets hard to rank up because uh, only fights against opponents of your own rank actually matter. And I think, for instance, to get to second Dan, you have to win five matches against first Dan opponents. And if you lose a match during that time, that means you have to win one more match to make up for it, and so forth. So it's, uh, it's pretty nuts. Oh, I tried to do the takedown, and now the move I have, I'm gonna die. <laughs> the slowest punch in the world. Fight two. There. Ready? Go! <laughs> You. I was trying to do that punch, and it's just way too slow. No, oh, I, I I meant to do a down. My brain said to do a down throw, and my fingers did not did not open. Ready, go. Because my brain is actually kind of dumb. Oh, oh, there my brain said the wrong thing. See, he's just fuzzy guarding me. Reading my input and fuzzy guarding. I ain't gonna play that game anymore. Uh oh, I screwed up. Time's up. Oh gosh dang it. Well, that broke my string of 10 wins, so... One more time. That sucks. Fight one. Ready? Start over. Mm. Oh, she still got that slow punch in offensive mode. Wow, zero seconds left. That zero second lasted forever. Fight two. Ready? Go. That was supposed to be a mode switch, and it was, and I uh That's heck. Oh yeah, nice fuzzy guard, you jerk. Well, if she's in offensive mode and she is in close, she can kind of get out of it with... Wanna fight again? For instance, that's down forward kick. I don't know. It's too complicated. She's too complicated a character. Fight one. Ready? I will never master Go. her. Ooh. Wow, backhand slap. Oof. It's Moebius again. Two. Ready? Go! Yeah. Ah. Can't beat that speed in defensive mode. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh, that killed her in the takedown KO. -er. If that's all you got then, get out of my sight! My yellow eyes are gone. Back to normal eyes. What, what color are her eyes? I don't know. Um, hopefully the sound, one. the volume control Go. between the microphone and the game is a little smoother. In this episode, I, I simplified things. I took it back to actually what I was using back in episode, like, 5.11 to 5.22. Uh, kind of the first time I started trying to 
do some kind of mic volume handoff between my voice and the game volume. Um, and that seemed to work, and I liked it so much I started laying it on thicker and thicker until it started getting pretty, pretty grungy. So I decided to go back to a simpler time. I wonder if that kind of staggers them, that back punch, when they block it. Wanna fight again? So now when I talk, it won't absolutely mute the game. In fact, it will only lower the volume of the game a maximum of 50%, but it doesn't usually even get that far as far as I have seen. So it should be more or less not... Ah, oh, see, I, I... Ooh, I should have done a low throw on him when I came out of that um, knockdown he made on me earlier. Fight two! Ready? Go! Ooh, that's down back punch. See there, she's just in trouble. See, and he was crouching and then he stood up as soon as I stood up. He just got back. Man, show boy. Oh. Wow, that little jab just right in my kidney. Oh, shoot. When she hits him with that slow back punch, then she can just down kick the heck out of him, or down forward kick the heck out of him. Probably more effective things she could do as well. So yeah, Vanessa, definitely a complex character with her two styles. Oh. Don't bring that one-legged stuff in here. Take you down with whatever leg you got. Bad girl. You want bad. I'll give you some bad. Ready? Go! See another strategy I suppose for getting the mode switch in is just to go for that big rangy down forward kick in defensive mode off the bat and then if that clears him back then do the mode switch style switch wanna fight again fight one Jump. ready Go! Fight two! Ready? Go! Well, I did it, but then I stuck. Hmm. Yeah, so there is that down forward. Then forward forward punch, then down forward kick kick. I'm not sure if that always works. Maybe it depends on the opponent or what what position they are in when you hit them. Cause I, I thought I I thought I had seen it in a previous episode, but then it was like not working for a while. Maybe I was just doing things wrong. See there. No, man, it did work. Aw, oh, see? She stood up just as soon as I put the input in. That's right. And it, gets, it only gets worse as the AI gets higher level, higher rank. It's just so frustrating to try to, to, try to do throws against this AI. But this is how... This is how Virtua Fighter AI just handles throws. It just blatantly reads your inputs. 
I mean, it does it in in five. I'm not so sure about three, but it probably did. Virtua Fighter's AI is actually not very good. It's super cheap. Um, it's just in four. They didn't have too many holes. Whereas in five, in the five series, there's all kinds of defensive holes. In three, there's defensive holes. There aren't too many huge ones in four evolution. There are some. But they tend to be per character and specific matchup thing. I don't know of any yet for Vanessa. If that's all you got then, get out of my sight. So a little little hybridization here I'm getting in between the two styles. Very, very basic. Oh, one. Neon green. Ready? Go. That was an unsuccessful style switch. Still haven't done it. That's the connection. Uh, should have done a crouch throw on her. Of course, I think about that way after the fact. some play like Fight three. Hmm. Ready? Go. Oh, I tried the down forward kick, but hers, whatever that was, it's just like, way too fast. I can't back up fast enough. See, she, uh, she retreated. Uh, I got her. I was worried there. I didn't think that connection was being made in the forward forward punch to down forward kick. It seemed like she dodged back out of it at one point, but maybe not. Well, one thing about these being just two matches to two rounds to win is that they go fast, so if you have an obnoxious quest such as win 10 matches in a row, at least it can go fast. Oh, I should be able to get there. Fight wow. two. Laugh and lay, laugh Ready? that off. Go. Excellent. Switch things up on him. So there's Get ten. Out of my Give me that. Give me that dough. Hey, a color and money. Gray doesn't sound super exciting. Huh, so I got a color from completing a quest. I don't think I realized that that could happen. That's cool, I guess. Yikes. Oh, right, because I was mixing and matching. I mean, this is a case where the color tinting just makes everything look drab, especially on her chest. It actually changes the camo pattern, too. Look at that. Now she's got like an Arctic camo pattern on her legs, on her leggings. See, I wish he had a, a white vest here. But of course you can um, just switch to default. That looks a little better.
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, that one's already pretty great by default, anyhow. It's not bad, though. on those. See, when, a lot of the times when they color tint, it just sort of dulls everything. So basically, I just took the gray shirt. Let's see, what were the boots? Oh, it's not boots. some black boots, people. And you can't, can't change the gloves? The gloves are just stuck? Maybe they change with something else. Just stuck on red. Oh well. So what? Uh, 81.1%. Well, I got pretty far. I guess I played longer than I meant to. I, I got a little obsessed with getting that stupid 10 win thing. Did I already accept this one? What the star means then? Is that like a special prize? Mm -hmm. Alrighty, well, that'll have to wait till next time. So I feel like I started to sort of subconsciously piece together a few things and started to see opportunities for a little more intelligent switching between the styles and getting a better idea of what to use the, the two styles for. Um, I mean, down forward kick from defensive style is really good, but offensive style definitely helps against faster opponents. It helps at close range. It helps just with that takedown moves that catches a lot of people. Um, they both do have that very slow back punch move, which possibly opens up their guard, even if they block it. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, uh, lots of cool possibilities with Sarah. Sarah God, I'm sorry, I, I've just been playing through with Sarah uh, for like 28 episodes. Still got Sarah on the brain, apparently. But now we're playing Vanessa, and uh, I, I, I can't play Sarah anymore because she just did not have enough moves that you can do against the AI without the possibility of the AI just countering the heck out of you. Uh, hopefully, s Vanessa, <coughs> with her larger number of moves will have a few more moves that uh, the AI cannot completely obliterate whenever it likes. Um, because I can't, I just can't play Sarah. There's like one move, one move Sarah can do against the high rank AI that they will not just flatten her from if they want to. 
and that gets really dull. So um, that was how I beat her quest mode, but I don't want to do it anymore. It's really boring. Jackie has at least two, which helps a lot more than it sounds like it would. So maybe Vanessa, I can just have two solid moves that you can use on the AI and not get crushed. That'll be good. Can't tell yet though, you have to have to get up to about two thirds of the way along the map before you can really start to tell what's what's not gonna work anymore. Right now I'm still at the point where pretty much anything goes against the AI. So that's fun, but you can't put too much stock in all the stuff that seems to be working super well because later AI will shut down most of it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will be back playing Vanessa. This is Wednesday night. I will be back Sunday night with more Vanessa. I'm playing her twice a week, uh, Wednesdays and Sundays. I'm playing Jackie on Tuesdays. Um, in between Wednesday tonight and Sunday, I'll be playing on Thursday night. I'll be playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on PS3, the widescreen delisted version. That's what I play Thursdays. On Fridays, I play King of Fighters 2000 on my Neo Geo MBS. On Saturdays, I play Tekken Tag Tournament HD on PS3. Uh, and then Sunday, back with more. Vanessa. So that's what's coming up. Thanks for watching this session, my second Vanessa session. Stay tuned for session three, I guess. I, I don't know. Hopefully. See, I had to start playing t twice a week in quest mode, playing a character twice a week because uh, otherwise I did not retain enough enough learning from uh, session to session, so hopefully I'll remember a few of these little, little tidbits I picked up here. Seems like there were some useful things to come out of this, so uh, onward and upward and should get to the uh, tournament and get on to the next arcade in the next session, probably, unless something drastic happens. So next time, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Good night.